Learning more about living conditions for illegal immigrants held by federal authorities along the country's southern borderline. Watchdog groups and doctors have both voiced concerns about the treatment of migrants. KTK's Mike Miller right now joining us in studio with more about that. Mike. Neil, some of the most disturbing views are coming from some very young eyes. A child's view of the humanitarian crisis at the border. Drawings given the American Academy of Pediatrics. The picture is created by children recently released from Customs and Border Protection custody. Another vivid and shocking glimpse of the situation some call a ticking time bomb. In a report, the Inspector General's Office of Homeland Security, investigators touring Texas last month, saying they are concerned that overcrowding and prolonged detention represent an immediate risk to the health and safety of DHS agents and officers and those detained. In this photo, inspectors say more than 80 men were crammed into a room with a capacity of half that. The report says at these facilities, children had limited access to a change of clothes and two facilities had not provided children access to hot meals. You shouldn't hold anybody there for any length of time, uh, let alone children. Meanwhile, following the bombshell report by ProPublica, details about a private Border Patrol Facebook group with posts demeaning members of Congress and mocking migrant deaths. The acting Secretary of Homeland Security promising a swift investigation, tweeting, quote, any employee found to have compromised the public's trust in our law enforcement mission will be held accountable. Growing scrutiny and a sense of urgency felt along the border. Meanwhile, Border Patrol agents are searching for a missing two-year-old girl in the Rio Grande. Her mother told the agent she lost her daughter while trying to cross. This comes after several recent drownings in that river. Reporting in studio, Mike Miller, KTK News. And we